when the risk for cardiovascular disease and the plaque burden is less, the short-term benefit of taking medicine to lower LDL cholesterol and ApoB is less clear. The evidence is less strong. We don't have randomized placebo-controlled clinical trials and people at low risk treated for 30 years. But there are people who have low short-term risk for events like heart attacks and strokes who may not have significant atherosclerosis now who personally have a preference to not use medicine until their risk is greater and they have more of a plaque burden. And I'm totally comfortable if my patient says to me, gee, doc, I really don't want to take medicine now. The words I use is I say, no problem. I will sleep fine knowing that you are not on medicine because your short-term risk is low enough to justify that approach. But I will tell you, the longer you let your LDL cholesterol to be elevated and your ApoB to be elevated, the more atherosclerosis forms and wait until you have more significant atherosclerosis that's observable with imaging, for example, then we probably have to use a more intense strategy.